I'm here with James and we're going to be chatting a little bit with you about the importance of vitamin C we are. in our diet, uh -huh. but also why Primal yeah. has kind of focused so much on this. Massively. What we want to refer to as almost like the daddy of the vitamins. That's a good terminology actually, yeah. The daddy <laughs> of the vitamins, if you like. Yeah, vitamin C has so many different benefits. Mm. Um, the range, you know, the benefits are, are sort of never ending really. If you read the literature, it reduces tiredness, improves physical functionality and immunity. Um, there's a bunch of different things that, that vitamin C mm. um, is reported to do, yeah. So why, mm -hmm. when it comes to primal, yeah. why is it that we are promoting mm. that increase in our mm. vitamin C consumption? Well, for, for a long, 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 long time, people have always believed that vitamin C has massive health benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that. I mean, you, I think we were talking off air earlier about yeah. Uh, scurvy. We were to yeah. <laughs> yeah, we you were. know, people back in back yeah. in the uh, well, a few hundred years ago, yeah. people, you know, sailors getting scurvy. Yeah. Nobody wants scurvy. Um, but, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but from a vitamin C deficiency, it's yeah, amazing absolutely. that a deficiency in one mineral mm. can cause such a, a you know a big a health problem, a huge problem. health problem. Mm. So obviously, as the years go on and on, on people sort of realise the benefits or come to realise the benefits with them maybe being slightly anecdotal, mm. um, without them all being official. But the thing about vitamin C is, I mean. At Primal, on, on air, on TV, there's a lot of things we can and can't say. There's a lot of things we can't say, unfortunately. You know, there's certain legalities we have to abide by. Uh, we can refer to, to reports, we can refer to research, yeah. and you have to look online. Go online and look at look at the benefits of vitamin C, you'll find them all there for yourself. But there are actually a lot of claims you can make about vitamin C, which says something. It says quite a bit, actually, especially when it comes to your immune system. It's got to be one of the most researched vitamins. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's got to be. You Massively. know, you think about the the endless availability mm. of it, just yeah. in our supermarkets alone, yeah. you know, um, from vitamin supplements. It's not something that we have to go to a GP yeah, yeah. or a specialist to obtain. There have been peer-reviewed papers. We're talking about, you know, there, there clearly is a yeah. lot of proof about the benefits that are there. Yeah, very much so. But what we're doing here at Primal, uh -huh. and what I'm really interested in finding out from both you and Steve is, the reason that we're saying let's get a little bit more into our yeah. bodies why why would we why why are we doing that because we simply believe the benefits are that big are that strong i mean you know when steve wrote the book and he wrote primal cure it was all about um, it's about diet it's about lifestyle it's environment is what we always mm. say and vitamin c obviously as part of your diet has an impact obviously on not only your internal well-being mm. but also you know your lifestyle and the environment around you and everything it has yeah. just a huge sort of array of, of benefits so in terms of what does it contribute to we know that that vitamin C, um, you know, reduces tiredness, reduces fatigue. Yeah. Um, it can increase your energy levels um, physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. um, as well as that, it contributes to normal collagen, uh, teeth, cartilage, skin. Yeah. Um, you know, bone function, giving you healthy bones. Yeah. Absolutely, gums. Yeah. We've talked about scurvy. Yeah. Let's yeah. keep going on about scurvy, but yeah. Um, so the range of different benefits, and we just think that because our approach is so holistic, and for a vitamin that has, you know, such a, an all-encompassing holistic sort of, you know, range of benefits that we should be promoting it. I mean, Steve, for example, I know that the, the, the general NRV for, for vitamin C is quite low. Yeah. It's not that big. Mm -hmm. And yet, I know for a fact that Steve and many other people like myself take probably 10 times that, you yeah. know? I mean, it's, it's up to you. You can take as much as you want. Um, and the, the, you know, the benefits are huge, especially when it comes to your immune system. Definitely, you know, and wound well. healing. It's, yeah. it's essential so for that as well. What's fascinating is, you know, obviously, so we talked about, uh, one thing we do know is that vitamin C supports a functioning immune mm. system. Mm. Now, there's a really interesting uh, fact about animals and humans and the differences mm. between us. You know where I'm going with yeah, this. Yeah, we yeah. talked about this off air. So there's a, an interesting report by Dr. Suzanne Humphreys, actually, yeah. on, on um, which you can, you know, search online. You can yeah. look for it, Dr. Suzanne Humphreys. And she talks about the fact that all animals which is a fact, well, a lot of mammals, not all, a lot of animals produce a lot of vitamin C. Uh, now, what's, in what's really interesting is that a goat, an average goat weighing around about 155 pounds, produces 13,000 milligrams of, oh, there's a goat, look. Who doesn't like goats? Aren't they happy looking? There you go. So that guy and his friend there produce 13,000 milligrams, that's 13 grams of vitamin C yep. every day. Mm. Now, a sick goat will produce 10 times that nearly, mm. it'll produce one, it'll produce 10,000, sorry, milligrams a day. So 10 grams, uh, sorry, 100 milligrams, 100,000 milligrams, sorry. Yeah. So 100 grams, we've got that in the end. 100 grams, a lot of numbers to remember. 100 grams 
uh, a vitamin C, a sick goat, poorly goat like that one there. <laughs> Don't know what he's got wrong with him. Maybe he's got flu. Bless him. He's not yeah. kidding around. He's not kidding around. Hey, hey, sorry. I don't... I thought it was poor. <laughs> <laughs> the health channel, not a comedy Do channel. Do you know what I mean? There you go. But yeah, we'll produce uh, 100 grams of protein, of protein, 100 grams of vitamin C a day. Yep. That's fascinating. That's huge. Mm. And yet as human beings, we don't produce no. any vitamin C. No. So why is it that every, or a lot of, so, so, so many animals in, in the animal kingdom produce vitamin C and then they increase that production of vitamin C when they're unwell, and yet we don't produce any. Mm. You know, so the evidence, although it's not that anecdotal, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's certainly a lot of, lot of, there's a lot of lines of, sorry, there's a lot of direction that you can you can take from the mm. animal kingdom. You think, yeah, okay, absolutely. maybe there's a lot of benefits to be taken from there, and I think there are. There's loads, loads. Without a doubt, I mean, obviously, vitamin C. It, it is essential for our immune system. Mm -hmm. We also need to ingest it daily because yeah. we secrete well, it. We get that. rid so of it. We've just spoken about how a goat produces 100 yeah. grams of, of, of sorry of, of vitamin C when it's when it's ill, or mm. 13 grams a day, you know, when it's not. And yet, our recommended sort of you know uh, nutritional reference value, if mm. you like, is barely a milligram mm -hmm. per kilo mm. for a human being. I mean, that's so. I weigh 90 kilos, so I'm only supposed to take 90 milligrams a day. Mm -hmm. 90 milligrams, mm. 9 grams, and mm. yet a goat produces 13. Mm. Do you see? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So the benefit of putting it into our bodies, mm. obviously, is that our immune system, hopefully, is just going to thrive from yeah. that anyway. Um, I, I remember my grandmother years ago. Mm -hmm. My grandmother was, you know, a big effervescent <laughs> vitamin C taker. Okay. Big, big, big. We're talking sort of in the sort of late 1980s, wow. early 1990s. Very big. She's an ex-midwife. Okay. From the sort of 1990s. Okay. In fact, she was a matron on right, one of okay. in, at St. Guy's listen to in what Liverpool. They say. Oh yeah. yeah listen to always, what they say. always, always listen. Corners of the bed. Corners <laughs> of the bed. Um, but she was a massive, uh, massive believer in uh, effervescent mm. uh, vitamin C tablets, and. When she felt poorly, she didn't yeah. take paracetamol, she didn't take antibiotics she just in her life. She lived until she was 99 wow. last December, wow. um, fit as a fiddle. And she, when she was feeling a little bit under the weather, she would up her intake yeah. of her yeah. effervescent tablets. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what was on there, she knew she was yeah. taking more of it. And she swore that that's why there was hardly ever colds, hardly ever stomach upsets. She said she'd hardly ever, ever, ever got because of that microbiome that it's sort of all of that that's going on in the gut. She was a, a huge believer in that. And if that was back then and that was a trained nurse yeah. back in the day, and again, you know, I know we can't make any claims to it, yeah. but that was her belief yeah. that when you were poorly, she upped her intake. Mm -hmm. Well, absolutely. So we talk about upping your intake and potency and, mm, and all that sort of things. Mm. So our vitamin C tablets, there yep. you go. Um, we have, it's called vitamin C 1250 or 1250% yep. because it has 1250% of mm -hmm. your nutritional reference value, yep. your daily recommended mm -hmm. allowance, if you like. Mm -hmm. So by, obviously, you know, it's, it's more than is recommended. Yep. And that's what we believe in. We believe by giving, you know, giving people that, 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 uh, that high dosage. Part of the reason being, you just talked about your grandmother being a, being a matron and you mm -hmm. know, taking so much because she felt ill. So although we can't say this isn't official, do your research, look online, Google vitamin C or, you know, look at other search engines that are, are available, look at them, you know, look for vitamin C, find out what you can, what you can, what you can read about it. And one of the things you'll find, I mean, for example, there's loads of different reference points. You, know, you have to look at Dr. Axe as being one um, or healthline.com yep. being another. 85 million people a month turn to Healthline for, mm. for medical advice or nutritional mm. advice. Yeah. Um, and on those sorts of those websites, they'll say that uh, vitamin C supports or aids psychological function um, yeah. in pre or protects against um, oxidative processes. Yeah. Um, so works as an antioxidant. Mm. Even. And that's something mm. we spoke about earlier. Yeah, bit. so tell me a little bit about kind of why you're passionate about that. <laughs> why why there's this, this yeah. the strength of feeling yeah. behind that. So. You know, uh, we talk a lot about antioxidants, um, you know, phytonutrients and others mm. in plants, etc. Antioxidants essentially are what stop the oxidation process, if you like, that happens in the body. And oxidation sort of it breaks down cell, damages cell tissue. And we know that, you know, a lot of, or we think that a lot of Western uh, illnesses, diseases, things like cancer, things mm. like uh, dementia, you know, uh, Alzheimer's, etc., mm. are uh, caused by that process and antioxidants, in theory, help to stop that process. Mm. Now, myself, you asked about my own personal yeah. experience, so if those who don't know, I'm a two-time cancer survivor. 
So I had leukemia twice. I had leukemia first and foremost at the age of 21 when I was, uh, sorry, at the age of 21 in, uh, in 2010. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give away my age there, if you wanna do the maths. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was diagnosed on the 20th of May, 2010, mm -hmm. and I actually relapsed a year later, but I, over the course of two years, I spent 286 days in hospital as an inpatient. Um, I must have had, ooh, 11 courses of chemotherapy. Yeah, I spent about 140 days having chemo administered to me during that, that period, so 50% of that time in hospital. Um, and a lot of radiotherapy as well, mm -hmm. and a stem cell transplant, which saved my life. Um, so I really shouldn't be here. Uh, but you are. But I am. But I am. you are. And part of the things, but one of the reasons that, that I believe I am, you know, here and I've recovered so well is, yeah, okay, I was extremely fit and healthy and I, mm. and I sort of had, my body was very strong in a certain way to, to attack the illness, sorry, to protect myself against the illness or, sorry, the, the, the effects of the illness. Mm. And um, the effects of the treatment as well. Yeah, it is, massively so. You know, it's, an, it, it, it's a traumatic experience. It is. The whole like, shebang Yeah, it's mm. traumatic. There's a lot of stigma mm. attached to it. Mm. And, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's another thing entirely. But yeah, you know, I, I, one of the things I did afterwards, it really made me reevaluate my diet a little bit. And was, mm -hmm. as an athlete, you know, I was very sort of health conscious and, you know, I ate the right things as well. But mm -hmm. I didn't necessarily, you know, supplement my diet with, with loads and loads and loads and loads of vitamins and minerals and all these sorts of things. Whereas when I started to look into it and I started to research, you know, things like vitamin C. Vitamin C was essentially, I'm not going to lie, the number one for me mm -hmm. vitamin that I sort of read upon that w would have a, a health benefit rel relative to your immune system. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's a fact. We know that that uh, vitamin C supports a functioning immune system. But when you so, web search, for t when you web search for minerals and vitamins that support yeah. the immune system, it's the number it's the one first that comes one. up, isn't it? So. Yeah, always. So you know, one of the things I did was increase my vitamin C intake afterwards. And you know, if if I do feel much like your grandmother, I take loads and loads and loads mm -hmm. of vitamin C tablets. Mm -hmm. I can't encourage you at home watching to go and take loads and loads of, of vitamin C tablets. I can't encourage you to do it. I can't tell you how much you know <laughs> what, what's safe and what's not. But I like to take a lot. Um, it doesn't hurt me, it makes me feel better. If I'm feeling tired, if I'm feeling run down, um, we're one of those days where you know, you've perhaps overdone it, you're burning the candle at both ends a little bit. Um, I'm not as old, as young as I used to be, should I say, so training sort of affects me a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the training sessions that I still do take, it, take the toll on me. And when I, when I take some vitamin C, I, I basically when I feel like that, I increase my vitamin C dosage. I feel under the weather, I do the same, and I feel better. Mm. That's the truth. So that's part of the reason why you know, I got involved with Primal Cure is because sort of the, the ambitions of, of, of our ambitions, I should say now, or Steve's ambitions, tie in so much with my own. So it's, I'm so proud to be part of the movement and why specifically related to, to vitamin C, I think there's so many people should be taking it. Well, absolutely. And what's fantastic about the, the opportunity here is, you know, there are a lot of places that will say to you, this supplement is fantastic, take this, yeah. and shebang, here is a lovely price tag to go yeah, with it. Yeah, I know. I'm actually so impressed with okay. the fact that just Joe Blogs at home can actually really improve mm their system yep. by following this movement and not break the bank. That's exciting for it me. It is exciting. That is exciting. I'm glad you say that. You should be saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. it is exciting. It is. You know, as a PT, as mm. a fitness instructor, as a nutritionist, as somebody who, you know, and, and that's not my background. My background, uh, again, similar sort of scenario as to why I got involved with it. Um, that my mum got breast cancer in 2012, oh, wow. so did my auntie. I had a tumour removed wow. and decided that, uh, you know, I wasn't as healthy and as fit and as strong as I needed to be to oh. fight whatever was coming. And so that is the reason why I decided to get my qualifications yeah. and to go the full hog and to help other people yeah. who were kind of in the same situation. But as a PT, as a fitness instructor, you know, I get so many, um, you know, emails, spam, the lot, come and try this, try this, try this, try this, try mm. this, lots of claims, mm. things that I've never heard of before. The beautiful thing about this, we all know about vitamin C. We do. We all know how to get it. Hopefully we all know how to get it yeah. naturally in our diet. Well, people think they do, but they don't necessarily get that encouragement no, that they need. I agree. And also I think, uh, and Steve has touched upon this before, the mindset is that we get it from, uh, you know, oranges, we get it from, you know, mm. the citrus fruits, but actually in the steep was quite, you know, bell peppers, yeah. the yellow bell pepper, yeah. that higher concentration, uh, rose hip, which I know that we'll talk, we'll about, talk about again, later, yeah. yeah, we will do, um, but we know about vitamin yeah. C, it's not an unheard of, you know, word that you can't pronounce. Yeah. So, I'm just intrigued actually, mm. you just spoke there about a little bit about your own sort of background, your history, I mean, you know, it's mm -hmm. amazing, I've been mm. talking off air, <laughs> and I didn't know that about you, so many, see, there's so many layers to people, you just don't know. <laughs> 
know, you feel bad the layers like on you. So obviously, you know, you had like you've had your health scares and everything mm. else, obviously you made them through them and obviously yeah. you know, now you're a personal trainer yeah. and uh, you know, a nutritionist and everything else. Yeah. So obviously that that health scare yourself and your your experience with cancer mm. Um, in family and, and personally, yep. that's obviously made you reevaluate your sort of Absol your, yeah, your dietary I, intake. And absolutely. Um, my so I my big belief is, uh, which is why when Steve got in touch with me, because obviously I've worked with Steve for oh. eleven years mm -hmm. um, in his other business yep. and with his charities, and Steve got in touch with me and said, um, you know, you're qualified now. I've written a book. <laughs> have you? <laughs> oh, let's have a read of that then. So got first draft, sent yeah. through, and the one thing hits you, doesn't it? It does hit you, and you the one thing. You haven't got the book. Oh, read at, primary yeah. cure. Do you know what? Even if you just take one message, yeah. if you just take um, one message from the book, the message about white read sugar it. for me is the most powerful because for me, that is. I, I don't consume it. Right. So white, so white sugar for me. My decision, um, white processed sugar. My decision was that was it. No artificial. I don't eat anything processed. Is that is that since your health? Yes. Yeah. Since yeah, yeah, yeah. Cancer, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, um, and it's a my my business is called Love the Life You Live mm -hmm. because it's a whole holistic thing. Yeah. And that is another thing that I liked about Primal Cure, that it yeah. is a whole holistic thing. Um, I love, the, I love the, the push of the, the natural products. Yeah. I love the, uh, you know, the fact that um, we are turning away from those processed artificial sweeteners yeah. as well. Um, so. But for me, it, it, the whole message about leaving white sugar well alone. White sugar is bad. Let's well, get that very th clear. Let's, let's think about this, okay? So this is, for me, my mindset is, when smoke, when cigarettes started, it was mm. smoke, 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 it'll cure tuberculosis. Yeah, I know. Cancer yeah, sticks. crazy, right? Cancer sticks. Can you believe that? Cancer smoke, sticks. Smoke, it'll cure tuberculosis. <laughs> and, and that's, I mean, a lung disease, wow. Unbelievable. Wow. It is my belief, I'm not saying that it's Primal Cure's belief, I'm not saying that it's anybody else's, my belief is, is that in years to come, mm. White sugar, artificial sweeteners, and uh, a couple of other things, but will yep. be the sort of cigarettes of our time. Quite in my, possibly. In that, well, in, that's can, my that's my own personal opinion. You know, I can tell you honestly that that is pretty much. You know, you're talking about white sugars, perhaps in the future. Mm -hmm. Whether they will be, we'd like them to be, yeah. you know, perhaps, yeah. you know, looked at in the same way. Because yeah. we do believe, and if you read the Primal Cure book, you'll see that, yeah. that, you know, white sugars, sugars are really bad. Uh, it's, it's not a good thing. Mm. And the amount of, of, of health problems that, that occur as a result of eating white sugars and similar, and carbohydrates Absolutely. in general, um, it's not good. It is not, not good. good. It is not thought. good indeed. But from, as far as vitamin C is concerned, I just yeah. talked very briefly mm, just to close mm, up. Mm. So obviously as a, as a, as a nutritionist and mm. a personal trainer, mm -hmm. how would you advise your clients to do yourself? For me, um, I'm excited about the prospect of any of my clients being able to, basically for the body to be able to help itself. Yes to be able to self-heal. Mm -hmm. um, I've spoken before about how many antibiotics have been thrown at us mm. over the years and how you know there's been papers and articles written about how we're gonna get to a point where antibiotics aren't going to work. Yeah, We've sure. overused them so much. When we think about what it does to the gut, what yeah. we think about antibiotics and the side effects yeah. they can do. For me, if, if a client is able, and obviously I'm not saying for a second that this overtakes any sort of treatment that a GP or no, a health course. professional would advise, but for me, if I get a client coming through saying, uh, you know, a, a little bit fatigued, I'm you know, not feeling 100%, I'm feeling a little bit low, I haven't got the energy that I need to come mm -hmm. to a session mm -hmm. with you, the fact that there is an opportunity for them to take something that is a naturally occurring thing and be able to, you know, to take that on and take that on board, and for the body to kind of do what it needs to do itself is exciting. Yeah, that's brilliant. I mean, you know what you just said about actually about you know, we wouldn't advise obviously people to to you know ignore doctors' advice. Mm, Absolutely no, not no, at no, all. No, no. But you know what we are all about, and it sounds like it ties in with you perfectly. Is we're about you know eradicate, eradicating the health at the court before the court at the court before prevention. it becomes a problem. prevention not solving not it solving and mastering so that you yeah. don't need to go to the doctor you don't need to have medicine you don't need yeah. to have antibiotics that's that's that's, that's the Absolutely. idyllic isn't it that's it that's so take vitamin idyllic. C <laughs> <laughs> it is an it's an essential ingredient I think to we everyday think life yeah. yeah definitely absolutely.
Order one month supply of Primal Vitamin C 1,250% today for the amazing low price of $4.99. And if it's your first purchase from Primal Cure, we will send you a supplement organizer worth $9.99 completely free of charge. Plus, if you order two bottles of Primal Vitamin C 1,250% today, then we will send you a third bottle completely free, making a further saving of 33%. Call our friendly UK call centre 24 hours a day on free phone 0800 4402 888 or order online at primalcure.com. And if your online order totals more than £35, we will even deliver for free. As we want to be your preferred choice for all health and wellbeing products, if you don't love this product, send it back within 30 days for a full no-quibble money-back guarantee.